Today we will be solving this amazing equation, which is 8 raised to x minus 2 raised to x divided by 6 raised to x minus 3 raised to x equals 2. We need to find all values of x where x belongs to an integer value. So, can you solve it? As a first step, we can write this 8 as 2 cubed, and this raised to x minus 2 to the x upon 6 can be written as 2 times 3, and whole raised to x minus 3 to the x equals 2. Next, we will use this power rule to proceed further. So, 2 raised to 3, x minus 2 raised to x, divided by this will be 2 raised to x times 3 raised to x minus 3 raised to the power of x equals 2. Now take 2 to the x as common from the numerator, so it will become 2 to the power of x times 2 raised to the power of 2x minus 1. Here we will take 3 raised to x as common to make it 3 raised to x times 2 raised to x minus 1. Now this 2 to the 2x can also be written as 2 to the x whole square, and 1 can be written as 1 square. So, it will be of the form a square minus b square, which we all know is a plus b times a minus b. Thus, it will become 2 to the power of x plus 1 times 2 to the power of x minus 1. So write this here in numerator. Oh, look! This 2 to the x minus 1 will get cancelled out. And we are left with this. But we need to take care of the fact that 2 to the power of x minus 1 is not 0, which means 2 to the power of x is not 1, or x is not 0. Awesome! Now, take this 3 to the x here to get 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 equals 2 times 3 to the x. Now divide both sides by 2 to get this. So it will become 2 to the power of x minus 1 times 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 3 to the power of x. Nice! Now for all x greater than equal to 2, we find that this term will always be even. And this term 2 to the x will be even, but plus 1 will make this whole as odd. And 3 to the power of x is always odd. Also, even times odd is even always. But it can't be true. Even cannot be equal to odd. Hence, no solution exists if x is greater than or equal to 2. If x equals 1, then 2 to the 1 minus 1 equals 2 to the 0 or 1. Then 2 to the x plus 1 will be 2 plus 1 or 3. And right side will be 3 to the 1 or 3. Amazing! This means x equals 1 is a solution to this problem. Now we will look for all integer x less than 0. For that, let x equals negative n, and let n be greater than or equal to 1. So this equation will become 2 to the minus n minus 1 times 2 to the minus n plus 1 equals 3 to the minus n. This will become 2 to the minus n plus 1 or 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. This will be 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 or 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n. And right side will be 1 over 3 to the n. So this will be 2 to the n plus 1 divided by 2 to the 2n plus 1 equals 1 over 3 to the n. Now cross multiply to get this. Again, this is odd. And 2 to the n plus 1 is also odd, and their multiplication will also be odd. But the right side is even, which means again, no solution exists for x less than 0. This means that x equals 1 is the only solution to this problem. Did you like this problem? Then please like and share this video as well. So good!